Hello, husband. The pounder of my yams. <laughs> hey y'all and welcome back to another vlog so first of all the hair ignore it because i got a whole video dedicated to it it just ain't been posted yet so just pretend i got on some cornrows now we got a couple things to do today number one i'm waiting for best buy to contact me and tell me i can pick up my vlogging camera right now i'm using my phone so like in my last vlog i told y'all that i end up breaking my camera all bad honey so i had to get another one because i was crazily didn't get the warranty so anyway i'm waiting on them to tell me that i can come pick up my curbside order but while i'm doing that i'm feeling Ooh. anyway while i'm waiting for them to tell me i can come get my order i'm getting ready to go get a pedicure let me tell you something about these men folks honey so what i have noticed about men well particularly my husband when i am on top of my upkeep and stuff like that he don't really notice unless i change my hair do something radical then he notices but other than that he don't really pay attention like if i got some new nails new pedicure something like that but let me not do it uh-huh let me fall off he gonna notice so i done had this real cute pedicure or whatever and because i had cracked my nail i had to get an acrylic on so toes busting cute just everything well one day in the middle of the night i had to go to the bathroom and on my way back to bed because it was dark i ended up kicking the footboard of my bed and it cracked the acrylic so mind you he ain't said nothing the whole time i had this real cute pedicure but the day he looked down he was just like girl what's wrong with your feet because the nail was broke i was like oh that, that's how you gonna do me so yeah i'm about to go get these tended to because he didn't notice it's like if you ain't noticing did i I don't care you because i ain't pressed but now that you done noticed and brought it to my attention i'm like i got a little bit more sense of urgency like i'd like to do stuff for me but it is it hit a little different when your man telling you you're falling off so i'm getting ready to go get this pedicure while i'm waiting on this camera and then i need to stop and get me something to drink at the gas station and gatorade or something because honey it's hot as the devil's toenails out here all right so i just pulled up to the nail shop but before i go in like literally on the way here i was tagged in something on instagram one of my supporters her name is jasmine she made me like a art of something i'll put it on the screen but when i tell you i love this so much and i love like the little detail of st louis because y'all know i'm quick to tell somebody stay at night after the loop and i found so anyway thank you jasmine for this art picture that you make y'all forgive me listen when i tell you I'm trying to figure out the way to get my nails done. I love my press-ons. I do. Like, oh, I truly, Best Buy is ready. And, honey, this vlog is all over the place. But anyway, I love my press-ons. But when they start popping and lifting, that gets on my nerves. But anyway, I love these in particular. These were made by DJ and Nails. Y'all know I give her a shout out on a regular. She is the bomb. I never have to worry about the nails breaking or not being sturdy enough for the length. Like, DJ and Nails be killing the job every time she makes me something. So, thank you, DJ and Nails, for these nails nails thank you jasmine for that art now thank you to these little people in this shop for getting these toes together because honestly the honey mother is embarrassed they just I, it's, it's beneath me a few moments later y'all i am so mad i just got out of the shop and i didn't get a pedicure i'm gonna tell you why so i'm sitting at the bowl soaking feeling good feeling great and then the girl come over i'm trying a new shop i'm not used to this place or whatever so i uh i'm sitting there the girl come over and she starts to she pull out like the boards that file my nails but the board was full of scratch marks like it had been used and i'm looking and i was like uh-uh no that, that's dirty you gonna have to stop and so she went in the back and she got a brand new one when i said something because at first she pulled out the one then i said that's dirty so she pulled out another one i was like that's scratched up too so she went in the back and she got a brand new one but while she was walking back there i was like if that's the standard of your shop that you okay using clearly used tools on my feet absolutely not so i gotta walk my happy tail out of there so honey gonna have to just look at some busted toes until i can get back to my regular shop because that right there is unacceptable so since my camera is ready to be picked up i need to get that i actually have a memory card at home so i need to get that too and then we're gonna have to go on the lurk for a nail shop that's reputable because honey y'all not gonna have me with no fungus on my toes hi good thank you thank you you too all right so i just picked up my camera and i currently let me show it to you hold on let me cut the air off because listen y'all gonna hear that real loud in the camera and that's the thing shout out to your favorite influencers they vlog and they car because here's the thing on a hot summer day like today like currently it is 90 degrees in my car if i am filming in my car i have to cut the air off or here's what you'll hear 
you hear how you hear that fan blowing and it can take away from the quality of the video so your favorite influencer when they vlog in to try to entertain you and they are in their car they have to suffer in the heat or they're gonna jack up the quality of their audio so while i'm doing that let me actually go ahead and show you this camera real quick all right so this is my vlogging camera it is the dji pocket 2 and the reason that i like this is like in place of like the bigger cameras that you got to hold a big tripod with it can feel really invasive when you're going in public places and they see you with a camera in your hand and, and it can make other people uncomfortable so this camera allows me to get pretty good quality videos and it doesn't invade people's privacy as much so this is what my old one looks like this is the one i use so imagine me walking around with a big cannon versus this people are way more comfortable when they see this and actually i get asked a lot of questions about it when people see it because they like girl what are you talking to and i'm like that's a camera and they like that little bitty thing yes but yeah the whole reason i got this was because and i wanted to actually get a uh, bigger camera but i just was like i like having people feel more comfortable around me versus feeling like they on a reality tv show every time i walk up in a spot and i got cameras in everybody's faces so speaking of which let's talk about privacy and why Issa ray is the goat but let me switch to this camera first so we can have better quality and I'm gonna be able to cut on this air while I'm in transition because baby, when I tell you it's hot! All right, so we're back on my little camera. I need to play with the settings when I get home, but hopefully you can tell the difference if not. So what? So here's what I wanted to say about Issa Rae. Issa Rae is the GOAT. Issa Rae is bae. Issa Rae is everything for being able to live her life on her terms without putting it on the internet. Now here's the thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Issa Rae recently got married. And so even when she announced it, she was like, I basically end up taking pictures with somebody else's husband. But the reality is it was her husband. And what I honored about her is her, her focus in the media has been so career that it didn't get wrapped up in romantic relationships which is something that happens to a lot of women. And what I've even found on my own channel is the reception of my material when it's just me and talking about beauty. And even when it's just me on a vlog, it's totally different than when I am on camera with my husband. It's just like the attention and the focus is so on the relationship that people forget hi i'm an individual too and what i find is in this social media phase or in, in this social media world that we're in it's kind of like these parasocial relationships to where you see so someone on the internet so much you feel like you know them in real life that you feel entitled to their personal business here's an example i did a q a because i'm a pretty open person well i'm open with what i'm comfortable sharing what i'm not you'll never get and so someone um in a q a video that i had one time they asked me how many children do I want and I was like well I'm getting ready to turn 35 which I was at the time and I was just like honestly my focus is just let my kids be healthy and if I have just one I'm okay with that and a commenter told me I think you should have two kids that way when you get older the responsibility of taking care of you won't fall on just one person they'll have multiple siblings to share that with even if it's just two or more that won't fall on one person because that's a lot now i know that this person was well intentioned which is why i didn't get upset but it did kind of bother me because what part of me made you feel like you could tell me how many kids to have and then two, and I say this respectfully, I know people who have lots of children that still end up in a nursing home. So I'm not birthing children to take care of me when I get older. But the point I'm making is sometimes you see someone so much that you feel entitled to their personal life and you feel entitled to give your opinion on how they live. So I really respect Issa. And even people like Kerry Washington who focus on their art and they're able to keep their private life private. Now me as an influencer, I'm not an actor or anything like that. Like part of my career is sharing with blogging, but I share what I'm comfortable with. Um, but I just feel like sometimes people get too comfortable and they end up crossing boundaries. So I just really respect Issa for keeping that wall up. Like, nah, y'all gonna get this insecure. Nah, y'all gonna get these couple movies. And now nah, y'all finna get up out of my face because my man ain't your business. So I respect that. And so I would just say, even concerning me and just focusing back on that for a second please know although i am an open book i'm actually very very private and i only share what i'm comfortable sharing so when it comes to really invasive questions 
please don't do that please don't ask me when i'm having kids because it's not your business if i'm having kids i'll share that if i want to if not you'll never know please don't ask me too many personal things like even just like when it comes to money and stuff like that i give what i want to give i feel like i give what god has assigned me to give but my personal life is mine and so is my husband we give y'all you know a couple giggles cup kikis but you don't know what's going on in our house and we like to keep it that way so yeah i just salute to everybody who is able to establish boundaries and who respectfully doesn't pimp out their privacy to gain a check. Get what I'm saying? So with that being said, let me go around to the other side of town because here's the thing. My particular nail shop that I used to go to is on a totally other part of St. Louis. And where I moved to recently is way on, you know, we moved on up, you know, fish don't fry in the kitchen no more. So I have to go 30 minutes one way and it the part of town it is in at this part of time. Like, okay, if you are from St. Louis, and I say this, you'll automatically get it. Lindbergh and North County, around 3 to 4 p.m. You see what I'm saying? That's where my nail shop is. And so, if y'all don't know, just imagine the busiest street in your city, packed full of traffic. That's where I got to go to during rush hour. The way to... These toes might have to wait another day because I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, let's do that in the morning. I actually had to go home and finish the video. I installed these braids, but I need to do something to my edges to make it look more polished. And then I actually want to put on some makeup to close out the video. So I do need to film the ending of the video. But then I also need to go see the bag. Child, I got a lot of stuff to do. Come on, let's go. I said, come on. What up, y'all? So first of all, get into the shirt. First of all, get into the body, okay? Because mother worked for this. Yeah, I had surgery, but still. I had to put in some work city. So anyway, this day did not go how I wanted to go. So my pedicure, I can't not get done until tomorrow at 11.30. So I'm gonna actually just turn it into a maintenance vlog and let y'all see how I get my upkeep together because according to my husband, I'm too far behind. This is my favorite lip gloss, y'all. This is by NYX. It's the, this is Milky. It's the lilac color. So anyway, oh yeah, and I said get into the shirt. This is one of the shirts from my merch company, which I have not given up on. Y'all, I just been busy. Like once I started moving and got a lot of stuff going on in the private life as far as like dreams and endeavors that we're working on, I haven't really had time to uh, work on it but i am going to bring it back but it will not bring it back i'm gonna do something with it so anyway this is one of my little shirts i figured it was real fitting or whatever here's something i've been talking about on instagram and i've actually talked to y'all about it a few times y'all i love natural hair but i'm so tired of making hair content that's why i was so eager to get this braid sponsorship because i was just like oh they gave me a reason not to have to make no hair content so i can explore what i really want to but i doing hair all the time like i love it but as i've grown as a person like my personality has changed my desires have changed and the things i want to talk about have changed i love hair i don't want to talk about it all the time so and i've told y'all that before i've said it many a time and by this time next year i will have more vlogs posted than i do hair content and i know some people ain't gonna like it that's fine but some people will that's fine who i'm called to gonna like it and who don't like it whatever so yeah i mean for now you know we still rocking the hair stuff but eventually i just want to branch out and do other things and i actually have a really precise plan that i'll have in mind for my youtube channel it's just i don't want to alienate my core supporters just like by shocking them and not posting hair content because like honestly most of y'all have found me because of hair content and i really do appreciate it um and so if like say so i was following somebody for makeup jackie i know jackie 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 but i followed her well, kind of for makeup, but more so because she was funny. Now, if she was to all of a sudden only talk about perfume or only post vlogs, I'm gonna be like, oh boo, where, where's the makeup content? And I would probably feel abandoned as a supporter. So that's why I've been kind of slowly guiding my channel to where it's just like, you still get hair content, that's the primary thing, but more so I've been showing you other stuff like vlogging, like things according going on with my health and my body, like this PCOS journey and fighting this monster all up in itself. So yeah, there is a lot that I want to share with y'all as a person, as I grow, and which is why I'm kind of like slowly, like vlog drop here weight loss video here you know but again i don't want to just all of a sudden push people away but what i really do appreciate is even as i've been shifting my content y'all have been supporting it and i truly truly thank you because a lot of people you know content creators talk so a lot of people are scared to make that leap of faith because they like well if if i lose my viewers i lose my money and my whole life gonna change. And so the fact that y'all have still been so supportive, even when I don't post a wash and go, I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all, I'm 
for me and you was never for it. So, speaking of never pour, what I'm getting ready to pour from is my husband. Not in a negative way, so he not here and I'm sleepy. So before he get here, I'm about to pour it down. Two hours later. Hello, husband. The pounder of my yams. <laughs> you want some sushi? Play. I was more so just getting you to say hi because it, look at the dogs at high storm since you want to be all in the video. All in the video. You out here naked, got your titty meat out. Oh, it's masculine chest. <laughs> anyway, I was just getting you to say hi because anytime I close the vlog out and you ain't been in it, the people ask how you doing. Uh, I've been, I've been all right. I've been blessed. I feel like this is an awkward angle. Put on some clothes, naked. Okay, that's more like it's your cleavage ain't out. Yo, yo. Okay, I really wanted to go to Taco Tuesday, but you ate already. And okay. low key, I was kind of hoping you said you ain't want no sushi because I ain't want to get you nothing. That mean I'm eat off yours. What's mine is mine, what's yours is mine. Selfish. All right, well, that's it for us. Today's vlog went awry. I wanted to do some maintenance stuff, but that didn't work out, so I'm going to start filming the maintenance tomorrow. Well, you going to condition my hair? You going to condition it? Make sure it's, it's right. Boba said I had dry scalp, so I need I need you to I need some uh, some tea tree oil or some j jabola oil or whatever. Jojoba, yeah. jojoba. Yeah, he well, yeah, Swahili, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this vlog to... didn't go how once ago, but at least we got to pop in and say hi. From me and Teddy Pendergrass. I'm in my drawers watching my wife and kids. Okay, okay so that's the end of this. My wife and kids, for everybody that don't know, is on Hulu. It's one of my favorite shows. So. And I'm sick of watching it. But at the same time, he has been binge watching A Different World. When I tell you I don't want to hear, I know my parents love me. Right. I don't want to hear that no more, period. Right. Like, I'm so sick of it. But anyway, that is all from the Crazy Collins hey, family. I had, start, I had to start from front to back. Hey, the very first episode, hold up. But let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like you in a dead sleep. And at 3 in the morning, you hear Aretha Franklin screaming her head off about mm -hmm. how I know my parents Absolutely. love me. Absolutely. Queen of Soul. I'm Absolutely. trying to sleep. I need you to learn how to cut the TV Whatever. down. Let me tell you something about being sleep married. Door. This man, shut up. This man have whole bachelor parties when I go to sleep. I wake up, he done had all the snacks, all the foods that he right. don't share with me, and the TV. TV right. be loud. Peace. Peace and quiet, tranquility, all of all that. I'm supposed to be your peace. That's a different type of peace. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So that's it for us. We'll see y'all in the next vlog, which will probably be tomorrow. Is this a bad angle of him? I feel like it make your face look puffy. See, hey, that's hey. then we got freestyle Fridays coming up this week, so baby, stop. I don't like that angle on your face. I don't know. It just make you you make your face look puffy. It is puffy. I'm Big Daddy right now. Okay, yeah. bye.